It's Andrew today from Tracy Refrigeration. Uh, we're just outlining a job for my personal furnace. I just bought a house here and this is the type of install that another, com another company did for the previous owner and uh, I'm not happy with it. So what I'm going to do today is install products of my own. Uh, Napoleon 9700 uh, furnace. Uh, it'll be a lot quieter and I really just want to clean up the install. Um, just going to show a, a comparison of before and after for a sound test for the furnace. Uh, first, we're going to start it up in heat mode, and I got a decibel meter here on the furnace just to show, you know, the customers what the difference is if it's actually worth making a change. So uh, first, we're going to start it in uh, heat mode. I have an S thermostat here. Just going to fire it up now. Taking a minute for it to go. And uh, here's one uh, decibel rating with the door on and the burners running on low fire for the keep-right burners. Notice when the blower starts up it comes on full speed uh, and the blower for some reason on this uh, one-year-old furnace is kind of noisy. Really. Here's the Napoleon 9700 series ultimate furnace. We're going to unbox it today and kind of do a stand up there. We're going to kind of do a, a break, breakdown of what it comes with and you're going to get to see the, the insides of the furnace. So, there we go. Just going to do a walk around. So in here is the stainless steel heat exchanger, the primary and secondary heat exchangers, full stainless steel. Uh, Napoleon is the only one that I'm aware of that does this. They have an ultraviolet a UV light that is medical grade for killing allergies and bacteria in the air. The furnace is powder coated black on the exterior all the way around. The interior of the furnace, what we were talking about before, it comes with foam board insulation. So most furnaces come with an aluminum insulation, that's the fiberglass type. This is an actual board. So this is great for detonating sound and uh, giving good R values. It's insulated, we notice, on all sides of the furnace. So side, back, side, and we'll show it on the front when we disassemble the front. Here's the front of the furnace with the sure view window for the burners, Napoleon's patent design. So you can see right into the furnace when the burners fire up. Stainless steel door. It's not flimsy, it's thick and it's heavy. You can see the thickness as it comes off. It comes off with four clips. Once again, we have more insulation. on the front door. A thick stainless steel door. Napoleon put a secondary door on that to reduce the sound even more. Most efficient two-stage furnace. We're going to pull this apart and have a look inside. So 
Also on the furnace, we see rubber stripping all down the side of the furnace. Helps eliminate any noise. Rubber stripping where all the panels meet. LED lights to light up the service area when the furnace, if the furnace ever needs to be repaired. A clear collector box. So you can see any condensation for plug drains. All the connectors don't just go through a rubber grommet to the next panel. They go through a liquid tight connector, especially made by Napoleon. It's alright, that's just the panel moving. <clears throat> Better light there. Here's our two stage gas valve. And the one thing I like to talk about is simplicity. You look at this furnace, the electrical compartment, it's simple. Two pressure switches, a venture motor, a gas valve. There's a high limit safety back here. It's just not, not overly complicated, not over engineered. Simple design. <clears throat> now we're going to go into the bottom compartment of the furnace. Once again, we go with our foam board insulation on the sides. Control board, two transformers, and the ballast for the UV light. Here's the plug for the ECM motor, and here's a light to light up the control department for servicing. So when you take the door off, this light and this light light up. Quality built. This furnace weighs 160 pounds. Here's the uh, Napoleon filter rack that we're putting in with this furnace here. Just pull it out of the box here. There's specialty MERV 11 filters. It's a 5 inch wide filter, 20 by 20. 5. And it just matches the red paint on the furnace. So easy to open. Easy to change. The furnace just slide the filter just slides out the front like that. We typically have these larger filters, you only have to change them every six months, depending on how many pets and people are living in your house. But because the filters are slightly larger, they uh, usually only have to change them twice a year. Alright, we're all finished here. Uh, we've replaced the, the return air duct here. Uh, we've increased the size to help move more air through the house. We've installed a 5 inch Napoleon filter rack. Uh, this will give us a longer life out of our filters. Replaced the supplier plenum with a little bit bigger one to look a little bit nicer here. Uh, we've redone the electrical. New disconnect switch. Uh, made all the lines nice and straight. New condensate pump line. Uh, we've redone all the gas piping, so now it's all straight and clean. The shutoff faces forward where it didn't before. Uh, we've redone all the drains in the hard CPVC piping. 
the drain goes all the way to the back to where the air conditioning coil is installed. Then it continues right around for the tankless water heater. Uh, we've reinstalled the air conditioning coil so it's properly mounted and uh, realigned the refrigeration piping. Uh, we can see the piping here, it's nice and straight. Uh, replace the venting, intake and exhaust, the neat code. Uh, if you just follow the venting here, we keep all the writing nice and straight, just gives it a little bit cleaner look. Reterminated the vents outside to meet code requirements. And now we're just going to let you take a, a longer look at the inside of the furnace when we've taken off the doors. Alright, we're going to do a sound test with a heating startup of the Napoleon 9700. Uh, you can see the sound meter with no talking at the beginning. 36 decibels. There we go, the furnace is fired up on low fire. Or no, now it's on low fire. Alright, we're just going to show an uh, uh, open view of the furnace and what happens when you open it up to show the lighting. So now we've shut the furnace down, maybe to do a little maintenance. You can see we got the cabinet lighting for troubleshooting. Two LED lights inside. So I like to show all the different components inside the furnace. So we got a basic control board here. It controls our variable speed motor, or ECM. Um, that board, just a basic board. We got uh, a transformer for the UV light. Our venter motor. Two stage uh, gas valve here. So low fire, high fire. Pressure switches. A clear condensation trap. So you can see the, the water inside if there's ever a plug drain. And that's about it. It's pretty basic and uh, not overly complicated like some of the other furnaces out there. Alright, that's a wrap. The, uh, we completed the install. Now I can honestly say this is a job I can leave and I'm happy and confident that it's done right. Uh, if it's good enough for my home, it'll be definitely good enough for your home. Uh, and this is how I leave the jobs.